Okay, let's see how <coughs> I attach the cube to the skeletal mesh. I initially start with the skeletal mesh. I open the skeletal mesh and I make a static mesh. Once I made the static mesh, I open the static mesh and I use complex collision. So if you show simple collision, you will see the complex collision. Then I get this static mesh here and I place this static mesh here in the level, which is this. You see it's the static mesh. Uh, I set transparent material just to see through the mesh. Transparent material is a translucent material with opacity 0 0.5. Then I get the um, scatter tool, which is on the Epic mar Marketplace, and uh, I um, spawn all these cubes. These cubes are blueprint cubes. In fact, in the scatter tool options, you can see here that I'm using I'm using blueprint actor, not static mesh. The blueprint cube is just a simple cube with overlap and generate overlap. And the scale is 0 0.05 and the uh, number of instances is 400. You can put also more, but in this example I set 400. The distribution method is voxelization and the scale here is 0 0.7. If you put two, they're bigger, one, okay, 0 0.7. That's it. You can also uh, do this without using the scattering tool, just placing the cubes yourself manually, but this tool is much easier. If I refresh the tool, you see it generates a new uh, scattering version every time. So once I have all these cubes, basically the idea behind is to overlap the skeletal mesh exactly where there is the static mesh, and for each cube here, check which is the closest bone of the skeletal mesh and attach the cube to that bone. So let's see how this works in the in the blueprint. So I get, I start here, so begin play, attach cubes. Attach cubes is this custom action. I create the array of the cubes to attach and hide. Okay, mm, I do, I need to explain another thing before. So if you see these spheres here, I created these just because I noticed that when I attach the cubes to the bones, like for example, these cubes here, when there is an animation, like the running animation, uh, these cubes come out from the, uh, the, um, the skin of the mesh. I show you. You see? These cubes that initially, when the leg was straight, these were attached to the bone, to this bone here. Uh, now that is uh, rotating, there's a, a huge rotation here, more than 90 degrees perhaps. Uh, the cubes are still attached to this bone, not to the, to the top bone here, because the location of the cube is closer to this bone. And uh, so they come out from the from the um, the body. So I decided to remove these cubes that have this issue, and to do this kind of removal, I created these spheres. So basically, when I see that some of these cubes, which are in this point here where the bones are rotating a lot, so here, here at the back, and uh, where there is the elbow and the shoulders, when these cubes are inside these spheres. Uh, they will be hidden and they will not be attached to the skeletal mesh. I did all here. So mm, let's start again. I get all the cubes, the, the blue cubes I generated with the scatter tool. And <clears throat> for all these cubes, I check if they are overlapping, is overlapping, one of these spheres. These are the red spheres. If it is overlapping, it means that it has not to be attached to the skeletal mesh. So I put these in an array I call cubes to remove. If it's not overlapping, so they are all uh, around the body, I put these in the cubes to attach. So these are the cubes I will attach, these are the cubes I will remove. I show you just to see the numbers. You see, I have attached 282 cubes and I removed 118 just to see the numbers. So I go here and I get the array of the cubes to attach. And uh, as I said before, for each cube, I check the actor location, so the cube location, and I check uh, this location and which is the closest bone to the skeletal mesh of the, of the female, the mannequin female. The skeletal mesh is this one, is the one we moved before, is this one, because this is the stat static mesh, which after uh, the blueprint has completed, we will not need anymore, and this is the skeletal mesh. So we overlap and then we check every cube, uh, the location and the closest bone. 
and this is it. So we find the closest bone and then we attach the cube to the skeletal mesh, keeping word scale, uh, rotation and uh, location. Now, the, the part where I had uh, the other cubes that are overlapping this, the spheres is this. So I get uh, all the cubes to remove and I set these cubes hidden and then also I set the visibility of the spheres to not visible and also the static mesh I use it to, to do this um, scattering uh, thing I also uh, hide this, setting visibility to none then here simply I um, set global time duration to 0, 1 to see the slow motion of the running here I animate the scatter mesh and here I print uh, the cubes that I have attached and the cubes that I remove it so again if I launch you see I have the skeletal mesh here, the cubes attached, and here where there is the, the knee, for example, you don't see any cubes because I removed them. And the same is for the elbow and the same for the shoulders. So you see only uh, the cubes that are uh, properly attached. So this is the, the blueprint. I can also run this at normal speed if I put one here. And this is the final effect. So um, you see all the cubes are attached.